South Africa's former leader, Jacob Zuma, pleaded not guilty on Wednesday to corruption, fraud, racketeering and money laundering charges relating to a $2 billion arms deal when he was deputy president. Zuma, who was president between 2009 to 2018, faces 18 charges relating to the 1999 deal. He has rejected the charges and says he is a victim of a politically motivated witch hunt by a rival faction of the ruling African National Congress. Former South African President Jacob Zuma pleaded not guilty on Wednesday to charges of corruption, fraud, racketeering and money laundering. The long-awaited trial relates to a $2 billion arms deal in 1999, when Zuma was deputy president. Mr Zuma? He's accused of accepting 500,000 rand, or around 34,000 US dollars, annually from Talis in exchange for protecting the French arms company from an investigation into the deal. But Zuma has rejected the 18 charges against him, saying he's the victim of a politically motivated witch hunt. How do you plead to them? I plead not guilty. Outside the court, Zuma supporters, like Shirley Vilemse, gathered once again for the man who ruled South Africa for nine years. We don't stand here because we're a cult, or we are naive, or we are brainwashed. We are here to support him, particularly me, first of all because he's from Ghana, and the president did a lot of things for us as black people. Zuma's defence team is calling for the recusal of state prosecutor Billy Downer. The prosecution has requested more time to respond. Talis was known as Thompson's CSF at the time of the deal. It has said it has no knowledge of any transgression by any of its employees in relation to the award of the contracts. Its representative in court also pleaded not guilty to racketeering, corruption and money laundering charges. The charges were filed against Zuma more than a decade ago, set aside when he successfully ran for president and reinstated after his resignation. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.